dear viewers today we are going to learn calculation by using chinese student abacus okay this kit is only used by students in our previous video we learn how to move beads on abacus that is a teacher tool okay i already show you how to move the beads and values of beads on abacus okay today we are going to learn how to move the beads and simple addition and arranging single double digit numbers on abacus okay let me see this abacus kit is used for speed calculation accuracy and concentration and improves students logic sense okay and try to practice for moving beads on abacus please use your that is four finger and your thumb finger and keep the pencil or pen like this in between the four finger and thumb finger for moving the beads you have to use your that is this thumb finger and four finger you have to move this okay and simply this first rod shows ones place and second rod shows tens place and third rod usually it's a 100 place and 1000 and 10000 it's going on okay remember this first place rod it is meant by ones and tens and 100 and 1000 and 10000 and each rod has five beads four beads at the lower level lower side of this center rod okay first you have to understand this arrangement of beads on abacus i will explain this and topmost one bead in each rod it which values 5 this value shows each bead shows and it values 1 okay lower all beads values 1 and uppermost all beads values 5 so it depends upon this rod it change into its values okay let me know the numbers and values of this rod and by using you have to use your thumb finger and four finger first that is 1 2 3 and 4 okay now it shows 4 and for 5 you have to downward this bead and this is the 5 so how to show this 5 please pull down all these four numbers down and this is 5 it values 5 so it now the abacus shows the number 5 okay then next 6 7 8 and 9 so now the abacus shows the value 9 okay let me reply once again okay first 1 2 3 4 okay children do you understand and 5 and 6 7 8 and 9 okay next this rod shows tens place okay this rod shows tens place and each bead values 10 okay let me move that is 10 okay 20 okay 30 40 okay and this values 50 okay similar to that of this ones place rod here this is 5 because 5 into 1 it is 5 here 5 this place value is 10 so 5 into 10 it means 50 do you understand this so next 60 70 80 and 90 okay so now the abacus shows 9 here no beads at all so 9 0 90 okay do you understand and one more thing any beads on the rod it means zero level on abacus so every time you have to finish the sum and come back to the zero level and make it make it sure this is the zero level on abacus and next you have to 
you will move on to the next sum okay do you remember this so that is no zero at all okay for third column that is the hundred place okay this is hundred place so for this each bead values one okay each bead value one so it's a hundred value that is hundred that is one hundred so hundred 200 300 and 400 okay and this shows 500 and 600 700 800 and 900 okay this is 900 okay so let me i will repeat one again for 100 place for this each bead values one but it is the 100 place so one into 100 that is 100 so 100 200 300 400 okay and this is 5 value 5 into 100 that is 5 now the back shows what children that is 500 and 600 700 800 and this is 900 okay we can understand okay so once tens hundred and this is meant thousand place rod so each bead similarly values one and each that is into hundred that is one into this is a thousand column so one into thousand what's the number children this is thousand okay two thousand three thousand four thousand okay and now it shows five thousand because this is a 5 value B and 1 stands 100 this is 1000 rod so 1 into 1000 that means 1000 ok and this is a 5, bit, five value B so 5 into 1000 5000 ok 6000 7000 8000 and this is 9000 ok so it shows 9000 ok next B how to arrange the numbers on abacus beads ok i have to write the numbers in paper and let me move the beads on abacus ok first number that is 9 ok and 5 and 3 and 2 6 8 ok all these number is a single digit number ok first move the first number that is this is what 2 ok 1 2 do you understand now this is 2 ok and next number that is 6 ok for 6 move this 5 value B ok so 5 plus 1 this is 6 ok and finally this is 8 ok for this and you must remember you should keep the 0 level abacus after finish every sum ok should move this 0 level now this sum that is 8 so 5 6 7 8 now the number is 8 ok and next we will move on to the next number that is 9 for this 5 6 7 8 9 now the abacus shows this number what is this number 9 ok and next number that is 5 so how to move this you have to move this 5 value bead in one row, children so this is 5 ok and back to 0 level and this is what's this number 3 so 1 2 3 so now the num abacus shows the number 3 ok let me next to do two digit number ok for this 20 12 15 10 16 and 19 so this is two digit number let me do all these numbers so that is two digit number so we have to move beads on ones place rod and tens place rod do you understand ok for this first that is first ones place is a zero so no need of moving the bead ok and next that is tens place rod what is the number 2 so move here 1 and 2 
that is 2 0 now shows the abacus shows 2 0 that is 20 okay and move back to the 0 level what's the next number children this is 1 2 12 so you should move the number 2 on one's place rod so you have to move this 1 2 okay and the this is a tens place number that is move one beat one okay one two one two that is twelve okay back to the zero position and now the number this is one five okay one okay for this first you have to move this one's place rod so five here five move this number five value beat five and the tens place number that is 1. Okay, for this 1, 5. Now the abacus shows what's the number, children? 1, 5, that is 15. Okay, let me move on to the next sum. So make it sure is it, this is a 0 level. And what's the next number? 0, 1. Okay, for this 1's place, that is 0. So no need to move the beat. And the next number that is 1. Now the abacus shows 1, 0 that is 10. Okay. For next sum that is 16. You have to move 6 beads in 1's place. And 1 bead in 10's rod. So now the that is 6 for this 5 plus 1 that is 6. And here 10's place number that is 1. So, 1, 6, that is 16, okay. And next sum, that is 19, back to 0 level. And 1, 9, for this 9, you have to move this 1's place rod. What's the number, children? 9, okay, move this 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, okay. And for 10's place, that is 1, move this number 1. That is 1, 9, 19. Okay. Do you understand? For moment of beads in one's place for single digit and both these rod for two digit number. And let me move on to the third digit number. That is what's the third place rod? This is ones. This is tens. What is this? 100. Okay. Let me move for three digit number. Let me do for this number we have to move okay we are going to move three rod that is ones, tens and hundred rod. Okay let me do the first sum that is one one nine okay for this for ones place you have to move nine beads. So, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. For this 9. And 10's place that is 1. And 1's place that is 1. Okay. Now read the number children. 1, 1, 9. That is 119. Okay. Back to 0 level. And next move on to the number. What's this number? Three digit number, do you know this? 200. Okay, for this, here 0, tens place also 0. So, need, no need to move beats once and tens place. What's the third number? This is 2. So, move 2 beats on 100 place. 1, 2, 2, 0, 0, that is 200. Okay, back to 0 level and arrange this number for 8. You have to arrange beads on 1's place. So, 5, 6, 7, 8. And next number in 10's place that is 1 and 100 place that is 1. Again, 1, 1, 8. That is 118 back to 0 level ok and next the number that is 6 5 1 arrange it 6 5 1 that is 156 
okay let me do the next sum 1 2 6 okay for this 6 2 and 1 that is 1 2 6 that is 126 okay and let me do the next sum that is 1 0 3 for this 1 2 3 here 0 and 1 okay 1 no bead movement here because the tens place is 0 children listen here and here 3 1 0 3 103 okay and next we move on to the fourth rod movement number okay let me do four digit number that is 1000 okay let me do three digit two digit single digit so combination of all sums that is four digit okay three digit two digit and single digit number okay the first number shows what that is on first three rod no movement of bead here so no me no movement here once tens and hundred and the last one is the one so now it shows one zero 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 this is the thousand place rod now the number is the back is shows 1000 okay let me do next level that is 1018 so first you have to arrange this 8 1 0 and 1 okay now 1 0 that is 1 8 1 0 1 8 that is 1018 okay and next we move on to the sum that is 6 0 0 1 that is 1006 okay back to the 0 level and do this sum that is 9 and 9 and these also that is 9 all the 1 stands under place it has 9 so 999 and next number that is a 2 digit number it is 5 and 2 so 25 and the last number that is 0 back to 0 and the last digit is 9 so you have to add in this number that is abacus now shows number 9 for speed and calculation you have to practice more number and taken sums by your guide or tutors and time limit also you have to set your time for uh, that is 50 sums or arrangement of 50 numbers on abacus within 20 minutes or 15 minutes or half an hour depending upon your age level and uh, please ask your guide to promote your speed calculation and speed arrangement of your finger movement so this improves your speed accuracy and calculation in maths and very much it is very useful to you okay let me move on to the next that is simple addition single digit two digit number in our uh, next video